What's up and welcome to another WWE 2K15 Who Got NXT and this time we're using Corey Graves And without further ado let's get it started So who are we about to fight And it will be dun -dun -dun -dun, Seth Rollins What a way to start it off Here we go I have not seen Corey Graves wrestle So this will be a treat for me And hopefully for all of you who are watching so objective is to critically damage Rollins uh, legs uh, that's okay I guess drop Rollins with a chop block so that's probably from behind obviously so and the last one is locked so let's do this all right obviously I have seen his entrance from Sami Zayn's but it is a pretty cool entrance very mysterious making his way to the ring from the sun all right, let's listen to the commentary after the announcements. Graves. Corey Graves, the leader of the Filth Parade, believes he's the best competitor in NXT. He's always brimming with confidence. Yeah, and why shouldn't he be? You have to be confident to compete at this level. Yep, the leader of the Filth Parade apparently has, like, multiple nicknames. He also has the Pearl of the Underground. What else? The Savior of Misbehavior or something like that. So this guy is an interesting character. But you know what? We're gonna bring Seth Rollins down. We're gonna take him down to the woodshed. We're gonna, you know, chop him down a block or two. Look at this. Just standing there, showing no remorse on what I'm about to do because I'm already thinking it in my head. You know what I wanna do to Seth Rollins? I wanna rip his legs off. I wanna rip his arms off. I wanna put a screwdriver to his ears. And look at this. I'm gonna bust him open with my knuckles. Yeah, read those knuckles. You read it, Justin Roberts. It might get you another job. Here we go. About to get started into this match. Right after Seth Rollins' entrance. Read those knuckles. Seth Rollins, the first ever NXT champion, stalking his way to the ring. Yeah, he was the first ever NXT champion, but now he's known, perhaps infamously, as one-third of the Shield. One-third? Well, apparently now he's the architect of the Shield, and... Uh, you people didn't hear it, but I heard it. Apparently, Dean Ambrose is following him along, so this is interesting. We got Dean Ambrose in the mix. Probably gonna wait from the outside. His lunatic behavior there, so let's get into the match. Here we go. Look at that piercing stare. Come on, Seth Rollins. I'm gonna show you fist of oh, three. I'm gonna beat you to a bloody pop, as I said before, but you know what? This time. This time, I mean it. Here we go. Oh my god. Reverse, man. Can, he keep him down? That's the man. Big question. can I keep him down? The question is, will I keep him down? And not can I? All those questions they ask, it's always will, not can, not would, or not, uh, you know, how. <laughs> Here we go. It's a brutal move Referee. driving a man's skull to the mat. And Corey Graves has momentum. Okay, so what's my movie my move called? The Peace of Mind. Peace of Mind. This is a sickening assault. Alright, sweet. Let's bash his head against the turnbuckle. Nice dodge there. Also, we got Roman Reigns out in the back there. So Set this is his fair advantage. What the hell is this? I thought this was his uh, wake up taunt. All right, whatever. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's right. I forgot I had to work on his legs. Does that count? I guess it does. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. And working on the leg. There we go. Um, we just heard this Jerry Lola. I mean, you can hear his victim's face crashing to the mat. It's scary. Okay, cool. Thanks for repeating this up. Here we go, another. No. Oh crap. Oh no. No, you don't. Get down on the ground. I wish that worked on the leg, but I don't think so. Right, here we go. Go behind. No, we don't. Turn him around. Here we go. Pizza that rub. Yeah, Tommy drop. Now, uh, let's work on the leg on the ground. No, we don't. Oh, reversal. Run at me. Run at me. Yeah. Don't kick me with your bad leg or else I'll drop you down. Lay you flat on the mat. So Corey Graves is the lesser of two evils, is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying, Cole. Corey Graves has few friends, but Seth Rollins has none. Well, except for Ambrose and Reigns, of course. 
Man, how many na nicknames do I have? The Lesser of Two Evils, the Pearl of the Underground, the Savior of Misbehavior. What was the other one? Oh, I forgot. Do something? What is going on? What? How did that miss? There we go. There we go. Work on the way. No, you don't know how to float over. Great job. Stop doing that! Oh my god! Why are you doing that all the time? It's annoying. Not really. Who go? Corey Graves has top right moves. Oh, okay. Oh, what's our signature? Who go? What is it? Oh, back right here. Alright, let's work on the legs. Still got to do. A little bit more damage on those legs, make them a little bit more red. There we go. Heaps of um, atomic drops. Oh, God. Get to the mid-tech, should reversal by Seth Rollins. There we go, reversal. Oh, elbow to the head. To Seth Rollins by Corey Graves. And here we go, another atomic drop. The world then saw him emerge as one of the top talents in all of sports entertainment as a member of the Shield. Oh yeah, former first, yeah, first world heavyweight champion in NXT was Seth Rollins. Not bad, not bad of an accolade. Now he's the architect of the future or whatever he wants to be called these days of the WWE. All right, couple more moves. Come on, we've done this like how many times? We go again. Apologies for the same moves. Alright, you know what? Let's change it up a little bit. Let's do this move. What do we have here? Oh, 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 the hard punch. No, no. Oh, what? Oh. Oh my god, is it every time that I'm down, he's gonna do that taunt? Get off. Stop doing that taunt. Here we go. Oh, oh. Irish whip. And he did the signature. Oh my god, what? Alright, so let's do, let's do this. Probably the last time. There we go. No, one more time, maybe. All right, let's work on the legs on the ground. Here we go. Yeah, let's kill him. Break his leg. Break his arm. Screwdriver his head. Here we go. Probably one more. Tommy drop. No, we don't. Reversal into a side rush. Led to by Seth Rollins. Oh, God. See me to move. No. I might do a buckle bomb. Oh, it's over. Ha. Too bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. He listened. He listened. No. Tornado DDT. Oh, God. He might do the curb stop now. Oh, no. What's he doing? Oh, that was a quick taunt. Yes, reversal. Get that crap out of here, man. Who do you think you are? All right. Let's do a couple more. I bet this is the last one. I'll say this is the last atomic drop. Yeah. I win. All right. Um, chop block. Oh, crap. No, oh no, oh to Dean Ambrose. Oh, Dean Ambrose just stands there like a statue, that's okay. I have a signature, please let me use it. Oh my god, I want to use my signature. Oh. He damaged over here. Alright, so chop block, so obviously that's the move behind. Alright, let's turn him around. We go. There we go. Does it work? No, doesn't work. Okay, must be a signature then. That's the only chop block I know. What the hell? Oh no, working on the arms. Oh, pretty good. Get up. Don't pick me up. I'll get up myself. Oh no. What's this? Oh, TKO type moves. Oh my god. Is this his thing now? Does he just do this every time he plays a match? No, get off me. I'm gonna win this. Yes, I won. Right, let's do this move to the head. Do we have a move where we can... No. Because all... I know he has a lucky 13 move. I don't want to do that yet. What the? Is he dizzy? Oh, crap. Oh, no. What's this? Oh. It's the... um. It's uh, the Big Show's move. The Colossus, the Colossal Clutch or whatever. Get off me. Oh yeah, drop kick to the air. Here we go, here we go. And there we go. No. Oh, 
Oh, really? Inverted DDT. Uh oh. Reversal. Oh, chop block or whatever that's called. And yes. And work on the leg. If he wants to tangle with Ambrose and Reigns. Yeah, do I have three board moves? Alright. Alright, get rid of that signature. Oh crap. Oh. Oh! Clothesline! Didn't see that coming, did you? You stupid aerial moves there. Trying to be all fancy and stuff for Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. They're not satisfied and I don't really care about it. Come on, let's do something good. Here we go. Working up to the signature. There we go. Alright, so... Yeah, done it. All right. Um, that's like Jack Swagger's move. All right, now we have to submit Rollins with the lucky 13. Oh, no. Stay on the ground, man. Stay on the ground. Follow the script. Here we go. Lucky 13 in the middle of the ring. Oh, yeah. Tap out, stupid. Tap out. Yeah. Pretty cool submission. Pretty close submission. Defeated all three members of the Corey shield, pretty much. Grant. They didn't do nothing. Savior, misbehavior, the pearl of the underground, the misfit. I don't know. But yeah, there we go. Corey Graves, not bad of a match. Pretty good. His music is pretty interesting as well. Not my favorite though. All right, sweet, so that's done. I heard it's all a game. You know why? Because it's time to play the game. All right, let's get into the next match. All right, we're in our next match, and this time we're fighting Bray Wyatt. Unbelievable, this guy, Corey Graves, never really heard of him before and never really saw his matches, and all of a sudden he's fighting, like, main event players these days. Seth Rollins and now Bray Wyatt? Okay. All right, so stipulation is win by pinfall or submission. Objective is to perform no finishes. That doesn't make sense, but still. <laughs> perform no finishes. Number two is to critically damage Bray Wyatt. And number three is locked. All right, sweet. Let's get into the commentary. Calling himself the paper saying of bad decisions, Corey Graves is a bad boy bent on making a scar. And that's the important phrase, Cole, leaving a scar. He doesn't want to just make a mark in this industry. Corey Graves wants to leave a scar. Yeah, I'll leave some scars. I'll give you some knuckle sandwiches, you know? You see those uh, words on my on my hand? Yeah, well they're gonna be in your mouth soon because you're gonna be spitting out words by the time I finish with you. I'm gonna leave some scars on your body. I'm gonna leave you bloody. I'm gonna do everything I can. But just look at this, Bray Wyatt. Is he staring me? No, look at this. I'm I'm not even intimidated. He's just a wannabe Undertaker. He's just a wannabe Kane. He's just a wanna wannabe mankind. So, Bray Wyatt, you can do all you want, but you're not going to get me, and I'm going to put these knuckles in your face. I'm going to shave your beard with these knuckles of truth. I don't even need a razor. I can just punch your face and it'll all come off. All right, let's get into Bray Wyatt's entrance. Bray Wyatt's uh, entrance did not have commentary, so it didn't matter. Get away from me, journalist man. Journalist man? I'm tired of your questions. Well, I can relate to that. I'm tired of your questions too, Cole. Thanks for the support, King. I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that as we get underway here with Bray Wyatt versus Corey Graves in one-on-one -on -one action. Okay, the cool. So there's no story behind this match at all. Something about journalists and all that stuff. That's weird. Kick to the arm and another working on the arm there, perhaps going for the sister Abigail. But there we go, block that crap and there you go, drop you on the mat. Alright, let's uh critically damage you, shall we? Bray Wyatt, are you gonna follow along with the script? Ah, no you don't. Get off me. 
And then I swear I'm reversing. What is this? Yeah, see, I reverse that. Get down onto the mat. Yeah, get away, ref. I'm a damage machine. So, perform no finishes. So, does that mean signatures as well? I don't think so. So, let me try that when I get it. I'm going to break all the rules. Oh, crap. Back body drop. And. What's wrong with my reversal game today? I can move out strikes for some reason, even though they're a little bit hard to, to come by. Oh god! Oh no! Oh god! All of his weight. Slaughters an opponent with the worst of them all, which I guess makes sense, is his finishing move, Sister Abigail. He just buries his opponent's face right in the mat. But one thing we won't see from Corey Graves in this contest is wit. He has a unique ability to charge on, regardless of the circumstance. We learned that not too long ago when he went toe to toe with all three members of the Shield. He didn't expect to win, but he was happy to trade blows with them. Yeah, and he never gave up, despite being. Yeah, I never gave up. I never gave up. Uh, I should hold up my my little um, towel thing and say never give up because that's what I'd never do. Man, what's all this stuff? There we go, reversal. There we go, take you down. Let's do a little small drop kick. There we go. Oh no. Reverse. Damn it. What's this? What is this? Oh no. Oh no. In NXT. Oh. Bad body drop onto the apron, the hardest part of the ring. Oh. Exactly. Exactly. Bad news. Oh crap, no! And he reversed it! And he reversed it! Oh crap. Oh my god, can I do something, please? I want to do a move. I can't do finishes, but I can do signatures if I can try and gain one. Oh. Stop chop. There we go. That worked somehow. Here we go. Yeah. Clothesline. That did nothing. No, you don't. Snap your reversal. And. Oh, showing disrespect to Bray Wyatt. Even though they're probably the same person. There we go. Oh, no. Misses. No, you don't. Chop lock. Exactly what it did to Seth Rollins. It's too bad they don't explain it properly. Here we go. What do we have here? Norton Whites. Pretty cool. Oh, and it doesn't count, so that's pretty cool. Oh, that hurt, man. That hurt. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's good to see me turn his face planting me on the mat there. Oh, God. Reverse. No. Head. What the? Oh, okay. <laughs> what is that? Was it? No, that's not a signature. It's just a normal move. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I knew what it was. It was the uh, Ferrari engine or whatever. Oh, reverses, whatever you had there. You're, you're special. Okay. It doesn't mean nothing to me. There we go. Drop kick. Let's go on top. And. Yeah. Bret Hart move. Wait, one more top rope move. Oh, same one. Stone Cold move. And. Top rope dive. Drop kick. Sweet, that did it. All right, let's see what we have to do now. Defeat Wyatt with the submission. Oh, crap. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, get rid of this crap. You be quiet, referee. I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. Yeah, get rid of this and dirty too. And let's, uh, let's do something. What do we have? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you're an Aggie. Oh god. Get up. Oh no. No. It's the accolade. It is that. What the hell? Steiner recliner. Why does he have the Steiner recliner? Yeah, give it to that crap. Steiner recliner. Why is he reversing everything? Is this on like extra legend? All star. It's on all star. Oh crap! Get up! Get up! No. We got a cover. 
Oh, you serious? No. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I'm back to bloody square one. I'm back to not kicking out of pins anymore. Alright, I'm gonna skip this and we're just gonna get to the good parts. Look at him. Look at this stupid idiot. Now, I'll be quiet. We're not watching you. Bray. What? Well, that's the last time we're gonna see him winning the match. Hey, shut up. I didn't even know he does that. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's skip to the good parts. Here we go. Okay. We, we took care of his uh, critical damage crap there. Now we're going for a submission move. And this one will not work for some reason. Let's just wear him out a little bit there. Here we go, like you are. Running move. Here we go. Oh, signature move. Uh, let's do the gut wrench type move there. Here we go. There we go. Oh, Bray Wyatt. Oh, move you over a little bit. You might get a rope break. There we go. Let's no, we don't. Don't you run at me. Turn him around. Try it again. No, you don't. Oh, no. This is, this is terrible. Oh, my God. Crossbody. Don't you dare beat me. Don't you dare. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, run. Run, grapple, there we go. Urgh, get down on the ground, here we go. Let's drag him in the middle. Turn him around. Wait for a little bit, and now. Oh my god, run at me, no you don't. Oh god. Oh no. No. What's he doing? Ah. Run. There we go. This is scary. It's nerve wracking. Alright, let's do this move. Oh, Joe's reversing. He's reversing everything. Uh oh. Spinning back body drop. There we go. Ferrari engine. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, the first time I've seen this. Oh, the stupid spider walk. Fall down. Fall down. I bet I have to time this crap. What do I have to do? Yeah, time it. Okay, come on. Let's reverse. Let's reverse. How do you reverse? Oh my god, no! Rope break, get out of the ring! Pinning combo. He may get the three count right here. Three. Great! Like it the right oh, there. it's like super hard now. Oh no! Alright, we're back. Back to square one, here we go. Oh. Too long! It's too long! We've been playing too long. Here we go, snap me uh, into a choke. Oh, this works. This works. Uh, uh. Well, let's try and do it again, but he's just going to reverse me every time. So let's just try our luck. Here we go. Yep, first reversal. No. Yes, thank you. Get out of this match, because this can go straight to hell. This stupid match. Oh god. Probably done maybe a half an hour on this match. Oh. Oh, and I got a trophy. Sure, Corey Graves can do it. Huh. The world's most dangerous man, Corey Graves. Yeah, sure. Alright, let's skip this. Oh, be quiet, Michael Cole. Man, what depressing music. <laughs> this music makes you want to play again after you just played 30 minutes of the, of the game. Alright, let's continue to the max match. Okay, now we are fighting Adrian Neville. And it looks to be a two out of three falls match. This is interesting. All right, let's see what we have to do. So, objective number one is to score the first point via pinfall. So, yeah, okay, all right, that's okay. Then, after that, is to critically damage Neville's legs. Oh, God. Here we go again. And then, last objective is lock. So, obviously, we're probably going for the lucky 13. And let's get to the entrances. I guarantee you that Ago, that Corey 
Okay, so now apparently I'm a bad guy. I've been, I believe I was a good guy. Um, I defeated the shield. And then Bray Wyatt, and now I'm fighting Corey, uh, what's his name? Adrian Neville, so, yeah, I'm a bad guy now. Alright, well, let's get to the match. Are you ready, Adrian Neville? Are you ready to get your legs broken? Close eye on the injured leg of Adrian Neville. I have a feeling we'll know if it's healed very early on. Yeah, and given that Corey Graves is a submission specialist, you would think he'll be targeting the leg that he injured just a few short weeks ago. You have to wonder if Adrian Neville should have even agreed to this match, Kenny. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Okay, well, let's see. Alright, so let's damage his legs. That didn't work. Wow, that was terrible. Irish whip from Adrian Evelyn to the bottom left corner. Now he's going. Oh. Tornado DDT. How does he do that with his leg injury? Don't know. Here we go. Let's do this. What is it? No reversal by Adrian Neville. Reversal by Corey Graves. And. Low drop kick reversal. Oh, he tried to go for his low drop kick. There we go. Get that crap out of here. Of course he does. You know why? Because Corey Graves is in the building. That's why. There we go. Let's keep this up. Here we go. Work on the leg. Do we know an injury report on Adrian Neville? Because if we know it, you can bet Corey Graves knows it. And that will undoubtedly determine his offense here tonight. We do know there was some bruising and some straining involved. Basically, the doctors have said it all comes down to how much pain Adrian Neville can tolerate. Well, come on. Adrian Neville isn't going to back out of an opportunity to exact revenge from Corey Graves just because of a bum leg. You know that, Cole. Are you sure? Because I believe he's going to inflict damage to his leg, to his arms, to his head. You know, much like I did to, what's his name, Seth Rollins. But this time, Adrian Neville has crossed the line. Alright, here we go. Let's continue on with those atomic drops. Those lethal atomic drops. But no, not at this time. Adrian Neville puts me down with the... Oh, she legs sweep. Just drop you down to your knees. Here we go. And uh, let's work on the waves again. Here we go. Atomic drop. Yeah. He's trying to gain up that signature. Oh crap. Here we go. Yeah. And working on the arm for no reason. Oh no, reversal. Oh yeah, you want to Here we go. Talk about athletic. Keep going. Drop you. Get up, man. Get up. Get up. Here we go. Jump block. Yeah. I suspect he's overcome by jealousy of Adrian Neville. You know, be jealous, that's fine, but to attack your supposed friend the way Corey Graves did, that's just appalling. Man, these two have so much history, Cole. I'd have to imagine that they know what each other is thinking in that ring. And even scarier is that they probably know how much pain the other is willing to withstand in order to win here tonight. Yeah, this certainly isn't your run-of-the-mill one-on-one match. This is a true grudge match. <sighs> Did I call him my friend? I don't think so, because their friend like leaves their friend in the dark. Alright, sweet. That, now one's, now one's done. Let's just go for the pin. Or not. <laughs> oh, poor Adrian Neville. Get down on the ground. Oh, there we go. And uh, let's try and take you to the mat. So, or, let me just submit you. Here we go. Let's do the first pinfall or uh, submission. No, that doesn't work. Let's try and win. Did you see that? And run clothesline. Oh, let's go into the top right. Here we go. Dropping a drop kick. That missed. Reversal. Get off me. Here we go. Work on the head now. Yeah, elbow. And knee. Or whatever that is. Here we go, jump for the pin. One. Oh my god, we've still got heaps to go. Adrian Neville showing his prowess. No. Oh. Reversal. Yeah. Man, that doesn't leave you on the ground for long, does it? Jeez. Yes. And not your friend. I'm not your friend. 
Uh oh. Oh damn, that was awesome. See, that's that's what I heard when I was doing Adrian Neville's story. Reversal. Adrian Neville showing his prowess. He can compartmentalize the pain and focus on the task at hand. And that task is ringing himself once and for all. His former friend now enemy. Go for the pin. One. Oh. Chops. Yeah, what a combo. Here we go, Northern Lights. Into a pin. There we go. Oh, got a trophy. Oh, really? Chop. No, let's do the gut wrench. Here we go. Gut wrench. There we go. Let's go for the pin. Really? Oh my god. Oh god, no. No! Oh no. To the rejection. Jumps over, flips me down onto the mat. Now he has a signature, I believe. Yep, he does. Reverse! No! Onto oh, the concrete! Onto the unforgiving concrete. Don't do the red arrow. Reverse. Yeah, reverse that crap. Didn't I dare it? Oh no. Ah. Oh, what was that? Oh. oh my god, don't count me out. What is this? Yeah, that's right, computer. Alright, get up now. There we go. Do I have springboard? I don't have springboard. Stop counting, I'm already on the apron. Oh, you better shut up. Oh, I have any time to go get the chair, but no, I don't want to get a chair. Because the referee just gets up. One. Two after that, no, it still doesn't do nothing. Here we go. Oh no, 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 no. Oh crap. No, it's positioned. Oh, what, what an idiot. Okay. Turn me over, man. You're not my friend. You're not my friend. You're not my friend. I defeated Bray Wyatt. I defeated Seth Rollins. And the shield, if you want to count the shield. But you couldn't even defeat people in that caliber. We go reverse something. Yes! Yeah, what a shot! Like a knockout punch. Oh, that's a late move too. Cool. Could have done that, but there we go. Let's go for the pin. Yep. No rope break. Oh, the referee cards gonna rope from over there. Here we go. Let's just do a move in the corner. Oh, he has to reverse, doesn't he? Oh. Yeah, jump onto the top rope again. Red arrow! <laughs> Stupid. Choke you out. Alright, let's just go for the pin after that. Can you just give up? Follow the script. Drop kick. Oh, not. That was even better. I like that one better than what I had planned. Oh, crap, no. Oh, trouble over her ours. Not really. Oh, I want to do my signature. Oh, no, no, no. He's going for the pin. No. Oh, I don't know how I got out of that. That was a fluke. No, do your stupid signature. I was right there. I reversed. I reversed. Oh, no. Oh, German. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, thank God. Thank oh, no, 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 no. Your game. Wait, what? Wait a second. This could do it. Why didn't it read out the thing? It didn't. Okay. Can I still win this? Oh, thank you. Yeah, sure. Oh god, why can't I have any other move except for the stupid Talk Lucky 13? Yeah, they're working the leg. So... I don't know how much longer he's um... Go. Alright, let's continue then. I thought I had to get the first pinfall. Oh my god, let's just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All I know is I'm getting damaged and killed over here. Reversal. Chop block. A real chop block. Let's go for the pin. One. Two. Oh, this game. You suck, ref.
All right, well, done that. This dude got Buster. Yo, yo, leverage. Oh my God, count any faster. And I still get it. All right then. Yeah, chop lock. Leading up to the move. Thank you. Lucky 13. And it's over. Is it all done? Awesome. Wow. I didn't even... That's all. I lost in a minute. Cool. Here is your winner, Corey. I surprised myself. Corey Graves with a big win over his former partner. Yeah, Graves certainly looked impressive tonight. However, let's not forget that he did soften Neville up a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. So Jerry Lola just took out the win for me. Michael Cole's like, yeah, he just got the win. What a huge victory. And then Jerry Lola's like, oh, wait, no. Last week, he took advantage of him, and now he just he was lucky to beat him because he was injured. Get that crap out of here. All right, so I'm just happy that I won that. I didn't have to replay the stupid thing. Yes. Yeah. Time to play the game. All right, well, let's get to our next match, and I believe it's our final match. So, here we go. All right, our final match is with another fellow NXT superstar, Sami Zayn. And this is a singles match, win by pinfall or submission. Most likely will win by submission. And here we go. So, objective number one is to perform Graves' two signature moves. So, I had to perform both of Corey Graves' signature moves. That's okay, yes. Number two is to critically damage all of Zayn's body. Oh god, this is going to take a long time, and if I lose, it's going to take twice as a long time. So I have to damage all of his limbs. And last one is locked, so probably go for the lucky 13 submission. So let's see how we go. Here we go. It was just two weeks ago that this guy, Corey Graves, bounced Sami Zayn's head off the steel ring post. Yeah, Corey Graves just has an air of pure menace about him, doesn't he, Cole? Yep. I mean, just look at those eyes. Oh, what irony. He bounces Sami Zayn's head off the barricade, and now he has concussions and probably cannot wrestle for another a year or so. So, at least, this is our final match with Corey Graves. I'm actually happy that I don't have to listen to his horribly depressing music all the time, because this music really is terrible. I don't know how you can understand this type of music, but... Then again, I like any type of music, so... We'll see how we go. But Sami Zayn has probably one of the best music in the video game. And since you can't create your own music for creative superstars, it's probably best to use Sami Zayn's music anyway. Well, But if you want to go, let's go. Sami Zayn is not one to back down from anybody. We've seen that time and time again. Man, I can take out Sami Zayn any time I want. Why do you think I've waited all this time just to take out Sami Zayn? Because he's on the bottom of my list. I've taken out former first world heavyweight champion of NXT, Seth Rollins. And I've taken out Bray Wyatt, a man who went on to headline WrestleMania with John Cena. So why do you think Sami Zayn is on my list? Because he's on the bottom. All right, here we go, our final match of Corey Graves' story. And look how cool and confident Corey Graves looks. Well, he should look confident. He has the goods and he knows it. He's going up against the same man that beat him two weeks ago right here on NXT. Well, is that the first reference we had to the WWE Network in this Who Got NXT storyline? The story mode or whatever it's called. Welcome to the WWE Network where you can find all your WWE satisfactions for early 9 90. You see a guy with movie star good nine. I mean a guy, who, a guy who attracts attention the moment he walks into a room. And despite all that, he was left off NXT arrival. 
and it's eating him up. And that's exactly why that we're talking about him right now. He's going to steal any spotlight he can from now on, regardless of who he hurts along the way. Well, Sami Zayn can attest to that, Cole. You know, Graves was forcing his way into the spotlight when he rammed Zayn's head into the ring post a few weeks ago. King has been well documented that Sami Zayn craves to the respect of his peers. He spent years perfecting his craft, and now he wants to be Yeah, well, anyways, blah, 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 Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn. What about me? Corey Graves. Pearl of the Underground. What was the other one? Um, Savior of Misbehavior. What else did we have? Uh, I don't know. Sinister Minister. <laughs> With your reversal into a pinning combination, go for the one, two, get rid of this. Yeah! Alright, sweet, let's go for a chop block to work on the legs. Yeah! Oh, this damage limb thing is gonna take ages. Look at this, reversal! Ah, uh, let's do this, drop kick. Yeah, sure. It is for the week of Sami Zayn's in it because Corey Graves is going to take care of Sami Zayn. He's going to work on every limb. He's going to rip him off in the end. But that's behind the scenes because WWE doesn't allow this. But when the crowd goes home and when everyone else leaves the venue, I'm going to rip out... What's his name? Sami Zayn's legs. I'm going to rip his arms off. I'm going to rip his legs off. I'm going to rip his head off. And then I'll save his torso. For the for the birds. Here we go. Here we go. I'm working on his leg now. Yeah, you like that, huh? You like that, Sami Zayn? You won't be doing your high flying moves anymore. Here we go, DDT. Not bad, not bad. Let's work on the arms now. Here we go. Oh, submission. Come on, Sami Zayn! Here we go, here we go. Work on this arm now. Oh no, you don't! Fix the section! Oh crap! Oh, I thought it was groggy. No! I shoot it to the top right corner. Reversal! Yeah! Get that crap out! Oh no! Oh, the leg! Oh! Way to ruin it! Here we go, reversal, get that crap in! Drop you down. Let's work on the arm again. No. Ironically, these two guys share very similar paths to get to NXT. Both are very well traveled, and both have about 12 years apiece in this industry. And despite the very similar paths, both have very, very different personalities. Oh, you got that right. But I'll say once, what a move! <laughs> I still don't like how you. You do a move where you cover him and it still breaks up the story. How stupid is that? UFC games that don't do that. Alright, sweet, I did it. Yeah! I done it! All done! I believe. Alright, let's work on this arm and let's give up now. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. Oh no, I still haven't done it yet. What did I do? I checked off one of them. Oh, I forgot. Oh, reverse that. Alright, let's uh, work on the arm again. Here we go. Yes! Still gonna work on the torso a little bit, but I'm still working on the arms. There we go. And there we go. And the legs are still gonna work on. Oh! What was that? That was terrible. Here we go. DDT! Hey, I wonder if I do the OMG moment. Will that damage his body? We'll try that a little bit later. Oh, crap. No, you don't! Get! Oh, 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 oh. No! Oh! Oh, that could be a leading cause to the concussion. Oh, no, don't jump for the pin. I probably won't kick you out, man! Well, that was easy. But then again. Oh, God. No, Stanny. Mutso. Oh. Come on. 
I'm I reversed. Now I reverse. There we go. Reverse that one. Up cut, up cut, no. Yes, reversal. Get up. Get up so I can do the uh there we go. No. Yeah, that worked. That worked. Oh, tried to do chop block the referee. And that missed. Oh god. Here we go again. Here we go. That didn't work either. Get up, get up. You wasted it. There we go. Now yeah, that worked. Um alright, legs are pretty damaged. Oh crap, should have Oh, I should have done a move on the ground with the arms. It's alright, here we go. Snap him over. And Neum. Oh, that was cool. Yo, you wanna take care of me? Well, you have another thing coming. Oh no no no! Don't go for the pin. Alright, let's do an OMG moment. Here we go! Corey Grave special! Here we go! Yeah! Slap your face! Get on to the other side! Jump on top of the turnbuckle! NXT! Only for 999! Woo! It still doesn't damage your legs, wow. You must be tough. If that does not damage your arms, your legs, and your body, and all that. Oh, he just gets up like nothing happens. Oh, launch back into the ring. Nice dodge there. Hey, what? No, I didn't do that. Oh, I tried to work on the arms. Oh, Adrian Neville did this before, and so did Seth Rollins. What makes you special? Reversed. I might have pushed another button, but I still reversed. Yeah, it's springboard. Yes, reversal. I have the chance. Oh, oh. Oh. oh god, he's on a stupid signature. No, it's bad. It's bad for me. Blue Thunder Bell Bomb. Oh, thank god, he's stupid. Yes. Alright, alright. Pre please do this properly. Yes. 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 Here we go, here we go again. Oh, wait, it's already done. Oh, why am I. Alright, sweet. It's already done. I don't know why I keep doing it. Not reading it. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Yes! I, I reversed it. No! Oh, my God. Turn around. Turn around. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Over. Um, I want to move him. Now, for you. For the. Please, please don't reverse. Yes! In the middle. Take it home. It's over. Out the match is over. Yeah. yeah! Winner! 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 Yeah, raise my arm. No, you know, don't touch me. Corey. Dirty referee. Corey Graves up a huge victory over Sami Zayn. Yeah, and not to take anything away from Corey Graves, but I have to wonder if Sami Zayn was physically ready for this match. Oh my god! First, Adrian never. Oh, wait, no. Adrian Neville, he couldn't have defeated Adrian Neville because he took care of him the week before and now he believes that Sami Zayn has some kind of injury that he could have done better. Oh my god, what a stupid ending. And then, to be continued, Sam, oh, what's his name? Corey Graves will no longer be part of the WWE because concussion issues. But, you have now unlocked Corey Graves. Yay! I'm gonna miss his depressing music. Alright. Thank God, I only did that in one go. In the, the final match. Alright, look at this. Look at all the points and all this stuff. Really doesn't mean nothing, but here we go. Awesome. All done. Corey Graves is done. Rusev is done. Adrian Neville is done. Sami Zayn is done. Remember, you can find all these videos in a playlist. And coming up next, Bo Dallas. A lot of Bo puns will be will be featured in this one. Bo, my God, and what else? I believe in miracles. Do you believe in life after whatever? What else? Um, uh, Bo, Bo. 
Well, that's it. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was a little bit frustrating, but I enjoyed it. Corey Graves. Eh, it was all right. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching.